What is up everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today, we got another one of these boys. Um, I'm now at Yukon in my dorm here, so I had to get this thing shipped to my mail room. And it actually came a lot quicker than it would have been if it actually came to my house, so that's pretty cool. So this is the Pro Bass Box for the month of September. So let's get this bad boy open. Hopefully, we got some epic stuff in here. All right, let's see what we got. It feels heavy, so I'm assuming there's some pretty sick lures in here. Nice. These are some lures that I don't think I've ever gotten before, so that's pretty cool. So the first thing we got is the Weston Hypotoist for $13.99. Oh, yeah, here it is. Whoa, what is that? Is this, is this a top water? I'm not sure. It looks kind of like a top water. I'll take it out and take a look and see if we can figure out what this is. I have a choice is a super realistic top water hard lure based on the old favorite, but with a separate soft shad tail. Oh, okay. So it's basically like a whopper plopper, but like really realistic. Oh man, that's actually really cool. I'm really interested to see how this would work. It's got two treble hooks on the bottom and a soft plastic tail. So, I mean, that sounds really cool. I'm definitely gonna give this a shot uh, this fall when the fish are crushing shad and stuff like that. That's awesome. Next thing guys, the Liquid Mayhem Fish are tracking for $10.99. I'm sure a lot of you guys have gotten this before. Uh, it's actually, it actually works really well. Crawfish scent, and I've, I have the shad at home. Basically, you just put this on the end of your jig or hard bait or something like that, and it actually does work because it just makes the lure smell and taste real to those fish. So this is something important, and it can mean the difference between a few fish in the box or absolutely nothing. Guys, the Booyah Toad Runner for nine ninety nine. Sweet, a topwater frog, but with the 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 back i don't know how to describe it but with the the tail the plastic tail um this kind of reminds me of the teckle sprinker frog but it's got a bigger paddle on the back um, i'm assuming it's a soft plastic or maybe a hard plastic tail too but i mean this would be a dangerous snakehead lure i mean bass too of course but everyone knows snakehead love those teckle frogs and stuff like that so i mean i'm looking forward to giving this a shot and it looks like a high quality frog i have a bunch of booyah frogs and that's what i normally use for bass so i'm sure this will get the job done just as well Next one, guys, the Riot Baits the Tantrum for $4.99. Oh, sweet. So basically, this is just a small craw. It's like a mixture between um, just a trailer or a creature bait, and it's like a nice size. So you can certainly put this on the end of a jig and, you know, catch any bass that you want as long as, you know, the water conditions are permitting a black and blue color. But, I mean, I don't know. It's really cool. These are really soft and really textured, so... Uh, I'm sure that these would work well for bass. Never tried them out before, but I'm looking forward to putting these on the end of a jig this fall. The next one we got is the Hoax Fish Scam Shad for 360. Basically, what what even is that? Hold up, I'm taking this out of the box. That is a very interesting looking soft plastic. I have never used this before. It has a flat top, kind of like bottom to hide your hook i suppose this weird head and a weird tail i'm not i'm is this a top water like this looks like it would walk really well like a fluke on the surface i'm not sure i've never used something like this before if you guys have used something like this before let me know down in the comments below and i'd love to hear your input on this bait never heard it before never used it but i'm looking forward to trying it out in the local ponds here because uh this certainly hasn't been seen by the fish before, so maybe it'll be that difference between catching fish and not. And the last thing is the Harmony Fishing Company Razor Series EWG hooks for $199. And these are basically just some more simple EWG hooks to pair with the this and those if I wanted to. I'm always running out of hooks here and there, so I'm pretty happy to get these because I'll just add them to my terminal tackle box and... Hooks are always a necessity that you must have. Obviously, you can't catch fish without hooks, so I will take as many as these guys give me, and I love it. I just wanted to add on that they included some of these old stickers, which I love. I'm definitely going to be putting this decal and this decal in my car, probably. Really love it. 
Alright guys, with all that said, that is the end of the unboxing. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to check out Carl's Bait and Tackle and Mr. Tackle Box. I'll leave links down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you on the next episode.